Hi Deborah, my name is Tiffany Burks and um, I'm in your PhD 747 class. Um, today I will be talking to you or responding to your video blog. Um, I was not able to actually read your memo prior to seeing your blog, so I'm solely basing everything off of your um, video. First of all, well first off, I would like to start off by reiterating your topic, which is cloud computing in the federal government. Second, I would like to say that I felt that your um, video was very detailed and informative. I think that you provided a lot of information, which is, you know, really, really good. I think that you, you know, went into detail. I can tell that you went into detail with your research and, you know, you weren't taking any shortcuts with this. Um, I like that you let the viewers know what cloud computer was and that it offered limitless flexibility, um, better reliability and security, enhanced collaboration, portability, and simpler devices. You listed four different types of cloud services, um, service models, which included public, private, hybrid, and community. Um, I'm sure you're going to go into detail with each cloud, but I also think that you should give some sort of examples for each one. Um, for example, well, for instance, you know, we all have um, email addresses with web-based email accounts, you know, such as, well, I guess you can say like AOL, Gmail, Hotmail, you know, all those different types of accounts. Um, I think if you put this, I think if you put this, it will kind of show, you know, and it will show how it will basically show how we connect more to individuals on a day-to-day -day basis, and that we do use you know this type of cloud computer and on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I know the government doesn't really, I don't know, I don't know all the rules and regulations regarding your topic with the government, but you know, I do know that we are using some form of cloud computer right now. So I guess once you get more in, you know, into detail, you know, with everything, it will be, you know, way more clearer. Um, I know that there are other service models. Um, I think I heard that you mentioned software as a service, but will you mention like infrastructure as a service and platform as a service? Um, I'm not sure if you are, but I think that you should mention those because, you know, each of these providers offer something totally different from the other. Um, basically, you know, moving on, um, two cons that stuck out to me, um, pertaining to cloud computing was privacy and security and compliance. You know, I found that with a lot of these videos that I've been reviewing, privacy and security has been coming up a lot. So with this in general, like I would like to know, you know, like all the regulations and, you know, I guess all the laws pertaining to this situation and what's like holding, you know, us back from actually going full fledged with this. Um, a lot of people question, and as you mentioned um, in your video, whether or not federal government is ready to use cloud computing. I like that you gave your personal opinion at the end of your video because it showed that you did your research and, you know, all that information that you collected, you see why this is a good tool that can be, you know, beneficial to the government and beneficial to individuals, like, on a daily basis. Um, I do, like, I myself do believe that, um, you know, there are many cons to every situation, as well as pros. However, sometimes cons outweigh the pros because, you know, people put their own, you know, personal opinions to it and I can kind of, you know, make the situation more, you know, stagnant. So, um, I do think that, you know, with this, and I do think that the government will take, you know, precautions and take, you know, different types of measures, you know, before jumping into this. Meaning that, you know, they're not going to, like, go full-fledged without weighing all the possibilities. Um, I will say this, you know, I am really, really excited about viewing your, um, your tab proposal if I had the opportunity to because, as I said earlier, you know, you went into detail very much with this topic. Um, 
I just wonder how you're going to present it all in your entire proposal, but I'm sure you will work something out. Um, I stated earlier, my name is Tiffany Burks, and the board, I think you did an excellent job, especially with the information that you provided. Um, I wish you, you know, luck on your entire proposal, and that's it. Thank you. I enjoyed it.